Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of uh, the game on Expert Difficulty. I decided to go into the Ludern region, which is on the right hand side, mainly because uh, that was the closest uh, region and I figured maybe that is the next one. So let's join me in my exploration and in the hopes of not getting completely destroyed. Couple of stables here. It's been a while since we have been at uh, stables. And by the way, Pervert is still with us. He has been relegated to be the wood chopper because that was missing. And I'm more than willing to spend two food uh, upkeep to get a regular influx of wood. Because it was quite noticeable that we were lacking Don't that. My father in law distract you. He's half seen up. I must find Boyle. She deserves to rest him. I own was the greatest tracker in the world. And the best person to ever live in this eye forsaken kingdom. Why won't they let me help her? Wait, 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 wait. Nine thousand required for that? Okay, I sure hope we're not in the high level region here. My father, whenever I turn my back, he grabs his bow and tries to jump. Maybe it was just the game saying if you don't have a proof it is very difficult to finish the quest for 9,000. Be reasonable for a moment. That will take ages. Good, so far all of that is fine, uh, no items here that suggest we're out of, uh, completely out of level. I actually like the thrill of not knowing if we're under or over level, it le lets you play a little bit more careful. I don't like the thrill of uh, continuously missing the lockpicks. That is something that I really don't like. So 10 additional lockpicks and let's try that again. Well, big deal. That was not helpful. I was hoping we would get something nice out of that, but unfortunately we did not. All right, so apparently he likes to get his cattle back. Let's continue with our exploration. By the way, we do have one main quest here, which apparently is the soldier that has completely disregarded all warnings and went uh, into that area alone. We don't want to be that soldier. We want to be a bit careful here. Oh, nice. Look at that. We finally got uh, our maze. 
Is that a single one hand maze? Level 8 required. Wrath of Erkershad? Deals 50 to 60% of damage. If this uh, unit has more strength uh, than the target, the damage is doubled. And a critical hit is guaranteed. So that's the boss beater right there. Oh yeah, level 8 can't come fast enough. Air crochet to maze. Cool. Well, we do have a few smaller ones to research. And we can upgrade our tanning rack, which is now producing more leather. And soon we can get the cooking pot also upgraded. Plus we have more knowledge and I should have upgraded all of that stuff a long time ago. We're going with the hitching post next, mainly because that could give us more, uh, more carrying capacity. All right, so we're creating leather effortlessly because we're just using human corpses apparently as leather. Ooh, another arena. Well, there is an advantage of that arena. Ah, oh, damn it. Bears attacked us. That is a level 8 bear. We're level 5, so these guys will be tough. They're rocking 900 hit points. Can't hit all three of them unless we're repositioning them, which I intend to do. So we could do exactly that. So he gains brutality. Nice little crit. Pushes this guy further back. And then ends here. Alright, moving up. Let's see how good that swing is. Nice, very nice. Alright, we're moving in. I don't think that these guys are going to be too heavy uh, hit here. But I suppose we're going to find out. five bleeding and we're moving back okay cool continues to hit Boy, he's still well and alive.
Good moves to here. And I think this will help us. For starters, we're engaging. Yeah, I didn't want to fully engage in melee, that sucks, but it is what it is. They are now burning and poisoned, which actually should make it uh, considerably easier to deal with them. Okay, this area definitely is a bit higher level than I would have expected. Level 8. Alright, moves up, hits these guys. Okay, cool. Trying to get that bear down. It's not that freaking difficult. Yeah, but they just have a lot of hit points. Can't underestimate that. They hit for 80 but then they are taking like 200 points of damage due to health damage all right let's surround him hit poison and continue to crit well we can get them down they are not dealing a lot of damage it just takes a while to really get them down i guess Weasling our way through here. There we go. Thing goes berserk and finally. See, and that's what I don't understand. Uh, those were level eight, and we got get a miser uh, meagerly like what few bits and pieces of xp we'll come back to the arena in a second because i just realized we are very much out of repair tools so unless that changes soon we're having a problem here i need a town and i need a blacksmith my weapon? This weapon is vital to anyone traveling through the swamp. I can give it to you, but you'll have to do something for me in return. I'm gathering alchemical reagents to sell at the border, and mosquito proboscises are in high demand right now. Three. Okay, so this apparently seems to be the swamp. Not sure if I like the idea of us exploring the swamp.
Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good sirs? Yeah, I think we're fine. Um, may I interest you in selling something to you? No, we don't. We don't even have anything worthwhile of selling. Yeah. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back in a second. First of all, I need to re uh, need to repair materials. As long as I am well fed, I will follow you wherever you go. It's interesting. You can recruit this these guys. This carriage of justice. I dem these get me out of here, and I swear by the level eight characters. Wow, these would be straight upgrades to our characters. Oh, this is ironic. I am legally obligated to give you a reward for each outlaw you bring in. This is crazy. Level 8 characters, I think we're under leveled for that area. Generates plus 2 during each rest if two companions are assigned. Interesting, so let's. It seems uh, that there are more camp materials um, than I do have companions, so I can only assume. The game assumes at this point that you do have like 20 companions. But I already noticed the number of companions somehow also increases the number of enemies. So it's a, apparently it's, it doesn't scale one to one, but there is definitely kind of a ratio. Good, we want the cooking pot upgrade. Recipes granting bonuses have a 30%, 45% chance to be delicious, and we get six uh, food just by Grell standing there. And we're running a little bit out of salt. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, that solves the salt problem, but I still would like to get a bit more re re uh, repair materials. There seem to be hooded assassins. It's just getting better and better Might here. I interest you, my humble wares? My Good. So, first things first. Can we create a trading post here? When I was young, all you have to do is buy the land and pay for 1,500. Wow. Now, but don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Well, at least we can fast travel now. Good. So, next up. We don't have... Uh, the one thing that we don't have is an option to get repair materials. You're not from Edoran, right? We fought those vermin for some... Okay, let me figure out how we get that. And by that I mean... 
convince swamp creatures to buy them. Uh, the materials, and once I do have them, I will be continuing at the arena. Okay, we finally made it to Narnov's arena. It took a while, and boy oh boy, that entire region, the Ludern region, is huge. I got completely sidetracked and lost. Um, but now we are going to do the arena. And this might be interesting because uh, we are under level for it. Well, well. It's not every day that we see fighters like you. <laughs> Which will be highly interesting whether or not we can uh, still do it. The last arena was quite a bit of a pushover. So let's see whom are we going to take. I think we're going to take Nemri this time. Uh, I definitely want JP Pauly. We're taking Captain Ender Sanders. And we're taking Dilly G. All right, let's go, boys. Enemies are level eight. So they are already one level higher than we are. Plenty of wolves here, but they seem to be chained to the wall. Namri, Polly, okay. Say if we were to go to here, all right, okay. Cool. Good. Uh, let's go then. Executioner worked very well. Another hit. Some more bloodshed. Uh, I wonder. This guy is a halibird here, and they do have controlled whirlwind, uh, which means we don't want to stay close together. Uh, but I think Polly can take a hit or two. Fortunately, couldn't kill him. Wow, okay, wait, the wolf uh, can extend his leash. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Um, how about Anders Sanders killing that other guy? All right, here we go. Let's hit them. Uh, the wolf is taking the uh, the damage. That's not what I wanted to happen. Uh, getting him down ever so slightly. Ah, uh, still getting him down. And there's the kill. Okay, it took almost all of uh, the uh, actions and I needed to spend my galvanized troops on it. But the daggers that triggered were enough and I think the up... Defeating the upfront damage essentially was worth it. Um, yeah, we're, we'll go over here. All right, Dilly. Got a couple of wolves, and even more wolves. Uh, 
the idea here for me would be to get these uh, to get one of uh, them out or nearly out of uh, the uh, ring 78 points however are too much so we're just slowing uh, modators down and yeah Pauli is now under a lot of stress Could engage over here. Maybe not the worst decision. That's one hit. He's destabilized. And I'm just finishing it because we uh, we got uh, we'll get that rep uh, repost attack. Must end uh, their turn next to an enemy. Okay, well, we can do that in a second. First, it's triple hit, quadruple. We are leaving melee combat. Entering bloodshed and pushing that guy completely out I want to make sure that we're in in a good condition best strength bonus very good We actually need to fight against eight if you take those uh, few wolves into consideration. Gotta be careful. Don't want. Um, I want to. Don't want to spend too many. Uh, too many valor points. We need them for the next rounds. turn Dilly G is not allowed to move well that's easy enough taking from behind adding some bloodshed end of turn to spend the last Valor. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. It's much harder than I would have anticipated. Okay, well, that was a tough fight. Not optimal. I shouldn't have engaged with Ender Sanders. Every time a champion lands a critical uh, hit, they get rage. Every time a companion uses one of uh, or more valor points, they gain protection for one round. I think that one isn't bad. Okay, we need a heal here. 
Uh, does the little trick work again? I think yes. Okay, cool. More Valor, more Valor, and we're starting with a good chunk of Valor points. Alright, next combat. Very similar setup compared to ours. Natural question that I'm asking is, should we just go in here and do it all over again? It was successful the last time. The problem that I'm having with this setup in particular is we're not getting the spearmen down. And that wolf could move up here. Let's engage with Namri first. Alright, we're leaving it as this. Um, and since we have Vengeance, every little hit gives a pretty substantial hit back. moves up to here. Let's see if we can get the archer down. Two hits. Okay. Not fantastic, but it is okay. Bloodshed is a very neat feature. Can't really get both of them down, unfortunately. But we can uh, move up here. I must act uh, with Dilly. Mainly because the other wolf would elsewise likely get them. Double hit. Shooting this guy back and hopefully taking it out via slowdown. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, same problem the wolves are actually making our life way more difficult than it needs to be. Over here. Heal the bleeding. Okay, cool. Take this guy out. Good. Hit both of them with fire. Okay, okay, okay. Good time to get rid of both of these guys. Yep, very nice. Uh, 
Ah, uh, almost. Could have been a crit. Okay, next up. Um Still not down, but close. Um, we are continuing our onslaught here. Nice little bleeding. That's helpful. And we're moving over here. Best strength bonus. Keep that dog away. Hit her. Destabilize and hit. Okay, very good. Going to see a couple of retaliations now. Yep, one, two, and there we go. That should be the end of the battle actually. Every time a companion is attacked, they gain fury. Fulfilling requirements gains uh, galvanization. That looks not too bad because we can uh, deal more damage, way more damage. So we need to heal here and do that. Heal here. A little bit less health, but we would be okay. Yeah, I think we would be okay. I rather want more Valor points because that means more damage and getting rid of the enemies faster. One, two, okay, they both act, which isn't good. I still need to go in and try to hit both of them. But this time we're doing it a bit different. I want that big fat bloodshed hit. This should double bloodshed as well. There we go. 60 bloodshed, that is great. to here still can't engage uh, the archer in um, in melee combat but this is going to be a whirlwind attack so yeah, very likely he's gonna engage Tell you what, I think we're engaging with a backline. Still the right choice here. Ah, uh, not quite. Close, but not quite. Yeah. 
Yeah, he already acted. We got the archer, which means uh, Gretason is now the next target. Move him to all the way to here because we're going to shoot him into that corner. Hopefully that's far enough away. Ouch. Taking a lot of damage here. Just from the wolves alone. Dilly charges. Focusing this guy. Yeah, decent, decent damage and bleeding. That's all you can ever ask for. Okay, end of turn. Moves to here, best friend bonus, engages again, that regains us uh, the valor point we spent for sprinting. And we're making sure both of these guys are orderly, that will solve our valor problems going forward. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, who goes first? This guy. Understood. One, two. Three. And let's take him out. Moves up here. And takes the bleeding away. Before unfortunately getting completely engaged in combat as well. Move up. Trying to hit all of uh, these guys multiple times. He's also bleeding, so might as well heal. Good. Let's start our barrage of attacks. Destabilization for Callist. Hit. And I think that's pretty much it. End of turn.
Okay, a bit of back and forth, but I think we're hitting the reward. Town to two hit points, wow. This is cutting it extremely close. Don't want to know what the arena champion is going to look like. Every time a companion lands a critical hit, they apply bleeding. Every time a companion disengages, no, we're taking the bleeding. Okay, heal, heal, heal. Which only leaves us with one time of that and a little bit of healing. Okay, cool. Well, time for the champion. Oh no, he has a bear. Oh no. Nine of. What is his problem? Movement doubled, damage increased by 30%, and has a whooping 330 hit points. 950 from the bear. Oh, it's not going to be fun. Nine uh, deals uh, damage to a target and applies a chase. Priority target for animal, damage taken increased 30%. I think we need to kill the wolves. He we can't burst them down fast enough. Yeah, we need to kill the um, the animals and use fire against the bear. That'll teach him a lesson: fire and poison, essentially. Not sure if I like that. And we need to engage Narol first. Alright, moving up. Destabilizing him. So, ready to start, okay. Got protection. Nice little extra hit. And yeah. Namri is now chased. We could sh shoot the bear out of melee range. Well, it might not be the worst idea. Shoots it over there. Not sure if that's enough. But it would slow it down for two rounds, right? Right. Crit is not... Crit is not uh, guaranteed. It would be good because crit would make that thing bleed. Moving to here, best friend bonus. Okay, cool. How do we go about that? That's not bad. The bear is going to act soon. Torch cannot hit both, uh, but I could clean up a couple of wolves. But I could also do that with JP Pauly. I think I prefer a really good smash in here with slice and dice. Good. That applies 
the same amount of bloodshed. 79 is helpful. Good, I'm semi-protecting Dilly. The bear uh, approaches uh, JP, that's fine. Oh wow, he hits his own companion. Well, that's a first timer. Good. Wrath in order to get a really, really solid attack. Bleed into... A big fat hit. Very nice. That's good because both of them are now burning. And are we already using galvanizing troops? Potentially not. Well, nah, I don't know. He is halfway down and we're actually we've actually cleared the battlefield much better than I would have anticipated. We're filling almost up and just dealing some extra damage. End of turn. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to engage this guy again in mortal combat. Nice hit. Continuing to strike him. And continue to strike more. Should have used tactical order beforehand, but that's okay. Good. I don't know if that finishes the fight. No, apparently not. Apparently the bear goes full berserk. His full berserk status will not help him. He is currently very much on fire. In a figurative and literal sense. No, he's not on fire. Uh, He's just berserk. Doesn't matter. Goes for the tank. Wow, that was a terrifying hit. Heals Namri at least for a bit. Then we're surrounding this guy. Big fat hit. Followed by another fat hit. 
Followed by another hit. Not fat, but at least a hit. First time that anyone is being taken out of the arena. Shortly afterwards, the bear takes 158 points of uh, level damage. Well, there we go. Wasted mercenaries beating a champion like that. His weapon is yours. I hope you will wield it. Come back whenever you want, mercenaries. You have gained Slush. Uh, level 9, okay. Under the Ormans, uh, sl uh, Sleuth uh, used to be an authentic tracker bow. Bestial shot. Uh, target takes uh, 40 to 80 percent of damage as well as attack of opportunity from all animals adjacent to them. That is a fantastic bow. Well, just like Urkish's mace, I guess we need to become level 8 in order to use anything here. I think we're going to borrow this. And whilst we're at it, thank you. Well, um, I think the party actually worked out reasonably well. Definitely was happy with the tank. I am not yet 100% sure if I like that indomitable one. See, what the bow does very well is it he hits multiple targets, 425. Hmm. But oftentimes it feels like um, this bow is not, uh, um, we're, we're not really set up to hit multiple targets. We got Slump fa um, Flask. Contamination applies two fever to all enemies. Damage increase taken, stackable. That's not a bad uh, thing, but it is quite costly to craft. It's an interesting one. Training dummy is uh, earn some experience during rest. Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad. That doesn't sound too bad at all because experience is indeed one of the biggest problems that we're having. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you got us. All right. Return the stolen goods and pay off. Well, effort. I was just trying to get a couple of skill books. Anyways. Can we get the trainings uh, dummy? We just need some wood. And I know how we could get it. We could disassemble some of the weapons, dismantling. Don't want to dismantle torches for obvious reasons. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, place to stop today's episode. We have been successful as the arena champion. Next episode, we're going to explore Lutheran. So stay tuned uh, to that. And if you enjoyed uh, the content, use th your uh, personal sleuth, uh, aka legendary bow, to snipe the like button. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.